Among mammals, though, humans have another biped companion, the kangaroo. Kangaroos are shaped in a really sort of a weird way. They have these big, strong hind limbs and these short little Tyrannosaurus Rex-like forelimbs and a big, huge tail. And when they're moving slowly, they do something called pentapedal locomotion, where they walk on their forelimbs and their hind limbs and their tail at the same time. But then when they want to go fast, they just pick their hind limbs up and they jump, they bounce, using their tail to keep their center of balance while they jump around in the outback of Australia. The Australian landscape is massive, and kangaroos' big feet may have evolved to help navigate it. Kangaroos evolved about 50 million years ago from possum-like marsupials. The first kangaroo-like animals could be seen 30 million years ago, and by 25 million years ago, kangaroo evolution was well on its way. The hopping motion depends on elastic tendons in the hind legs, so moving takes up very little energy in the kangaroo a must for survival when you have to cross huge areas of land. For kangaroos, it's all about just like, we're out of food, let's go for a walk. And then they go for 100 kilometers and get to a new patch of food. The kangaroo shape has evolved to be a perfect fit with its environment. Otherwise, it would not have survived. And while bouncing may be the most efficient way for a mammal to travel on foot, it's not likely that other species will follow the kangaroo's example. It's not like horses can look and see how kangaroos are doing and decide to start pointing their evolution in that way, get rid of the way they're running and start hopping on their hind limbs. That's not how natural selection works. To a large extent, it was probably luck that got kangaroos pre-adapted to start using that bouncing locomotion. But now that they have it, they're moving more economically than any other kind of creature. 